Dope Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the NBA. So y'all check this out. I know under weather, but it is what it is. We gotta still get it in. The NBA. Hey, y'all check it out. Russell Westbrook, you know, recorded his 82nd career triple double. Uh 82nd career triple double. The man's what is he fourth on the all-time list? <clears throat> You know, man's in his prime, you know, going to play at least four or five years on a high level, right? 82 triple doubles. Uh, only active player even close to him is uh, LeBron. LeBron got about 57, 58 in his career, which has been a lot longer. You understand? So what I'm saying, you guys, is let's not get ho-hum on the triple doubles that Westbrook here is uh, producing, you know, all the time, no matter who he has. Last year to get 43 of them. Right, set the all the all time single season record, triple doubles. You're on an offensively challenged team. You know, you was worried about his assists in them games, because he had about nine or eight assists a lot of times, right? But uh, you know, a lot of players just couldn't finish. Well, and he got a couple of shooters, Paul George, uh, your big boy Carmelo Anthony. They're gonna hit spot up jumpers, right? So I, I expect Russell uh, to average maybe even twelve this year. He was averaging about 10.7, 10.8 last year. I think he could probably move that up to 12 on this particular team. And if scoring goes down, no problem. Rebounding will be an issue this year. But uh, seeing as though, um, you know, you got Carmelo playing on the four, you know, you're going to need to help out on the boards. So uh, he might, uh, I don't think he's going to average a triple-double this year. doesn't have to. But, um, you know, at 82, the next guy in line is uh, Jason Kidd. Right, with 107, you're talking about, you know, the best of the best when it comes to triple doubles. Only ones in front of him is Jason Kidd, Magic Johnson. That number one is Oscar Robinson, of course, you know, of course. So those are only guys in front of this guy. So just because he's getting them often, let's not hold harm this, you know, because if it was easy to do, there'd be a lot more people doing them, right? Most people get two or three in their career. This guy. Averaged one last year and already got three out of six games. And another thing, too, is this team seemed to need it. You know, uh, uh, the, the three games that Oklahoma City lost, he didn't have a triple-double. The three games they won, he had a triple-double. So let's just let the man play and enjoy this while we are seeing something like this. This is just a reminder video. Pay attention to Russell Westbrook. It's things that you haven't seen before. It's extraordinary, this guy, right? Another news, right? Cleveland <clears throat> lost again, right? Got smashed. Who smashed Cleveland? Um, New Orleans, matter of fact, Pelicans, right? You got a healthy Drew, Drew Holiday. When he's healthy now. He, he's a top-notch uh, point guard when he's healthy. You know, and then you got them Twin Towers and their cousins and your boy Anthony Davis. <clears throat> so uh, Cleveland, you know, it's only 500 right now. They're not in panic mode, right? But, you know, because they're missing Derrick Rose and Isaiah Thomas when they come in the lineup and they do what they have to do. You know, I think Cleveland's going to handle their business. But teams are coming in there uh, and, uh, to beat them. And they have enough tools in Cleveland. We talked about that. So, you know, they're three and three. So that's very interesting to watch. You know, you never know what's going on in the locker room and uh, people wanting to be in them starting lineups and stuff like that. But produce when you're in there. Right, so that was the kind of thing that's going to be going on in their lineups. You got to be be careful of that. What's going on? Uh, something else kind of significant was um, Lonzo Ball, right? The young point guard, baby, you know, for, for us Los Angeles Lakers, you know, taking the blame says it's two dumb plays, bonehead plays caused the loss. Well, you know, if I was coaching him, I would be wouldn't be having him taking too much blame for nothing. Your baby and most of y'all babies. You're going to have turnovers, whatever, putting the ball in your in your hands. You're learning on the fly here and doing a pretty decent job of it. Uh, you're just under a magnifying glass that we ain't going to put on you, right? I like to tell my players, I, uh, you make an aggressive turnover, I don't care about it at all. You might see me on the sideline clapping because Lisa was aggressive, especially young players. But I ain't giving up all my secrets, right? But I'm just saying, you know, big deal you made some, some turnovers. See you tomorrow. Get back out there. Right? Get back out there. Because he makes a lot of good plays. 
So don't even worry about that Lonzo a couple of bonehead plays. You're going to make a few of them. Make some good ones. Keep your mind, keep yourself grounded no matter what's going on around you. Right? So that's it with that. I, I didn't really like that so much. But, you know, in the league right now, <clears throat> it's good to look around and see like Orlando Magic. <laughs> you know, top of the conference. The whole Eastern Conference. Uh, it's only four and one. It's early, but it's good for them to see it. You know, take a picture, screenshot that. You know, <laughs> the standings. You know what I mean? While you're up there, because that's pretty. It's pretty good to see. So some teams are uh, are gaining confidence here, right? Teams are gaining confidence in this particular time of the season, and it's good to watch. You know, I didn't think I was gonna get into it so early, but it didn't happen. You know, the NBA virus and already got me, right? So it's on the popping. So um. Let's just check that out going forward. Like I say, the main thing I'm trying to say here is uh, pay attention. Pay attention to what Russell Westbrook is doing. Right? 82 triple doubles, three already this season, uh, even though he has a new team around him. Right? Trying to make it happen, but you're seeing something historic. So pay attention. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.